when they tell you you got cancer, you do, you go blank. You go home, you can tell your family. You tell your wife who breaks down, you tell your daughter who gets upset. And then, of course, you don't know anything, so you start going into, in, into the uh, doctors. I was put on a pill called Revlimid, the highest dose they could take. Uh, my daughter didn't like that idea, because she asked the doctor, she said, well, how long have people survived in this pill? And he told him, he says, well, one person has lived nine years on this pill. And she looked at the doctor and says, what happened to the rest? We wanted a second opinion. They said, come to the Beth Israel, Dr. Arneson and the group here. They diagnosed me and they went in and they said, well, you have a very aggressive form of this problem. I was, my blood was 60% cancer when I came in. Before we started this, the, the treatment even, they had told me about this clinical trial they were doing. Took my wife, we talked about this clinical trial and the stem cell transplant for months before I had it. And until the day I went in, she, she didn't understand it, didn't know why. And uh, it was extremely hard for her. Um, do I have some trepidation about it? Yeah, you kind of look because you don't know what the clinical trial is all about. And I've had friends of ours who've been on this cancer, different cancer treatments, and they say, put a goal in front of you because it's a tough, I mean, you know, I mean, the cancer is not something that's easy. Uh, and my goal was to dance at my granddaughter's weddings, and they're nine and 12. I was in the hospital for three weeks, uh, went home for almost three months almost 100 days before. I had taken a month off before because you have to go through this whole initial chemo system, blowing out the cancer in your body, coming back for the phoresis and all the medications you take for two weeks before that and the phoresis for a week. So I was almost six months out. Cancer cells are able to grow in the body because they're able to outsmart the immune system and essentially fly below the radar screen and create an environment where the immune system really can't recognize them. The goal of our study is to use a cancer vaccine to reverse that process so that the immune system now sees the cancer cells as foreign and goes after them. We do this by taking aspects of the tumor and introducing them to the immune system in a different way. This is done using powerful teachers of the immune system known as dendritic cells. When you take a tumor and put it inside a dendritic cell and then use that to stimulate the immune system, you can now create a very broad immune response that targets many elements of the tumor and creates a hostile environment for that. In order to further bolster that, we look at some of the key levers that the tumor cells use to actually hide from the immune system. And one of those levers is called the PD-1 protein pathway. And so we are looking in our study to combine our vaccine with an agent that blocks the PD-1 pathway to see if those two things together will stimulate a very strong immune response that will recognize the myeloma cell, target it, and hopefully eliminate it. I started the treatments in Boston. It's a one day you come in, you spend all day, eight hours. It's, it's really a, a, an almost simple procedure. So I didn't have any effects during the day. I actually slept for most of the time. I was in a bed, very comfortable, uh, in a hospital room. I uh, wound up uh, going home. My daughter they wouldn't let me drive. You get tired. Uh, laying down and doing all the stuff medication does so uh, again my daughter was with me so we wound up uh, going home slept the rest of the day and a little nauseous every day after but one day only and after that I was right up and, and back to work so the, the procedure going through it was really simple the first time I left the house was well, whenever I thought I could or the doctor said I could my wife was going shopping so I said I'll drive you down to the mall so I went down to the mall I sat in the car I get out and I remember standing by the car breathing the air, and it was a crystal day, clear day like this, a few clouds, and I'm going, wow, this is fantastic. You know, I've come along, uh, talked to a doc, they've actually had some great success, I think, with this, with this drug they're using now, and, uh, and I hopefully uh, it'll help me. I, I, if it doesn't help me, it'll help somebody else. What we've seen um, to date in our, uh, across our vaccine studies, including our vaccine studies in myeloma, that we've been able to generate strong anti-myeloma immune responses. What we are studying now and really in the middle of analyzing and learning is how this combination strategy of the vaccine and the blockade of PD-1 may further amplify those responses and what the clinical effects are going to be. You know, some people tell me they've had a bad experience going to some hospital, some office or whatever. Never. Everybody here has been cheerful. It's a tough unit to work on cancer. They smile all day. From when you walk in up here to the receptionist, to you, to you get your blood work, to you get your clinicals, you're going into your nurses, you're getting your, the girls who do all the treatments in the back, and the IVs and the whole nine yards. Yeah. 
everybody smiles, everybody's happy. I've never run into anyone who hasn't been upbeat about the whole thing. And it really, uh, I think, dovetails with what Gateway's mission is, which is to say, how do we take new and sort of bold ideas and turn them into actual clinical realities? And that's, I believe, very much the focus of both our work and I believe what the Foundation in general is trying to accomplish. Great hospital, great procedures, nurses, doctors, hopefully it's a clinical trial, and I hope to go on. You know, I, I plan to be here for 19 more years, I've used up one year. And I've told the girls I'm dancing at their, uh, at their wedding, and they both laugh at me because they don't want to dance with me. You know? so, <laughs> my granddaughter, a couple weeks ago, she said, Grandpa, are you cancer free? Are you a cancer survivor? I go, yes, I am, honey. She is good. So she goes to school and she tells the whole junior high, all her friends, that I have a grandpa who's cancer free. He's a survivor. And that's made her a day, you know. So, uh,